the angels in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the angel of the lord declared unto mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to thy word Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray o fourth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen may the divine assistance remain always with us amen may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Kind of guys. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. We offer this mass for the soul of Leandra and Ross Pereira. We also pray for all those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the apostle and evangelist Saint Luke. Saint Luke was an ardent follower of Christ and also a disciple of Saint Paul. So whatever he has learned about Christ, mainly he has learned from Saint Paul. He was originally a pagan, but later he converted after listening to Saint Paul. And he has not only written the gospel, you often know his gospel, that is the gospel of Saint Luke. You always read and hear from the gospel, but he has also written the account of the first Christians, that is the book of the Acts of the Apostles. Even that book is written by Saint Luke till the first journey of Saint Paul. So early Acts of the Apostles, the Acts of the Christians, the historical part also is given there, plus the faith aspect also is mentioned by Saint Luke in the Acts of the Apostles. So a great evangelist, a great apostle, a great writer, you can say, all by the grace of God, all by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Let us celebrate this day. Let us thank God for the great apostles and evangelists he has given us through whom he, the word of God, comes to us even till 2000 years after the birth of Christ. So now let us to take part in this Holy Eucharist. Prepare ourselves by recalling all our sins and failures and sincerely seeking the mercy of our Lord. With a humble and contrite heart, we now say, I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Saint Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Let us place our intentions before the Lord. Lord God, who chose Saint Luke to reveal by his preaching and writings the mystery of your love for the poor, grant that those who already glory in your name may persevere as one heart and one soul, and that all nations may merit to see your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Demas has deserted me for love of this life and gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark to come and bring him with you. I find him a useful helper in my work. I have sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus in Troas, and the scrolls, especially the parchment ones. Alexander the coppersmith has done me a lot of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. Be on your guard against him yourself, because he has been bitterly contesting everything that we say. The first time I had to present my defense, there was not a single witness to support me. Every one of them deserted me. May they not be held accountable for it. But the Lord stood by me and gave me power so that through me the whole message might be proclaimed for all the pagans to hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendor of your reign. Can you repeat? Your, your friends, friends, O Lord, Lord shall make known the glorious splendor of your reign. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. Our response, your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendor of your reign. They make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Our response, your, your friends, friends, O Lord, Lord shall make known the glorious splendor of your reign. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. Our response, your, your friends, friends, O Lord, Lord shall make known the glorious splendor of your reign. reign. Can he rise for the gospel? you from the world to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, says the Lord. Lord be 
with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory be to you o lord the lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit he said to them the harvest is rich but the laborers are few so ask the lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest start off now but remember i am sending you out like lambs among the wolves carry no purse no oversack or sandals salute no one on the road whatever house you go into let your first word be peace to this house and if a man of peace lives there your peace will go and rest on him if not it will come back to you stay in the same house taking what food and drink they have to offer for the laborers deserve his wages do not move from house to house whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome eat what is set before you cure those who in it who are sick and say the kingdom of god is very near to you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant through your heavenly gifts that we may serve you in freedom of heart. We pray, O Lord, so that the offerings we make on the feast of feast day of Saint Luke may bring us healing and give us glory. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations. to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching that for now and for ages and ending with all the host of angels we sing to you with all our hearts crying out as we acclaim
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come, until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald, gracious our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and Amen. Amen. Receive his command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I not am worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which Saint Luke proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the masses and then thanks be to God. Lady of Perpetual Sucker. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people, by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. An act of contrition. My God, I believe in Thee. I hope in Thee. I love Thee above all things with all my soul, with all my heart and with all my strength. I love Thee because Thou art infinitely good and worthy of being loved. And because I love Thee, I repent with all my heart of having offended thee. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without, and Amen. In Occasions to Our Lady We fly to thy patronage, Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions in our necessities, but ever deliver us from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, Thou whose very name inspires confidence, help me, O loving Mother, that I may love and serve God with all my heart, help me, O loving Mother, that I may never neglect prayer, help me, O loving Mother, in temptations against the holy virtue of purity, help me, O loving Mother, that I may quickly rise again, should I have the misfortune to fall into sin, help me, O loving Mother, that I may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits, help me, O loving Mother, that I may courageously resist the seductions of the world, evil companions, bad books and films, help me, O loving Mother, that I may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my Christian duties and the duties of my state, help me, O loving Mother, that I may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life, help me, O loving Mother, in sickness and pain, in poverty and distress, help me, O loving Mother, that I may not delay my conversion from day to day, help me, O loving Mother, that I may ever love and serve Thee and invoke Thy assistance, help me, O loving Mother, that I may be able to lead others to love, serve and pray to Thee, help me, O loving Mother. When death is near and I am about to pass into eternity, help me, O loving Mother, to my last hour, to my last breath, do the watch over me, help me, O loving Mother. Pray for us, O Mother of Perpetual Succor, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Almighty and Merciful God, who in order to assist the human race, has willed the Blessed Virgin Mary to become the mother of thy only begotten Son, grant we beseech thee that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Summary of Petitions and Thanksgiving Let us thank Mama Mary for all the favors that we have received. Novena Prayer O Mother of Perpetual Succor, Behold me a miserable sinner at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as thy perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge as I believe of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen, because I had not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear lest in the occasion of falling I should cease to call upon thee, and so should lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee, as far as I know, how and can, to obtain it for me, namely in the assaults of hell, always to have recourse to thee, and to say to thee, O Mary, help me, Mother of perpetual succor, suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. 
mother of perpetual succor pray for thy children hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen mother of perpetual succor pray for thy children hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen mother of perpetual succor pray for thy children hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen holy mary succor the miserable help the faint hearted cheer those that weep pray for the people be the advocate of the clergy intercede for all devout women let all feel thy need who implore thy perpetual succor thou hast been made for us o lady a refuge a helper in need and tribulation let us pray o lord jesus christ who has given us thy mother mary whose wondrous image we venerate to be our mother ever ready to succor us grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore her maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption who lives and reigns world without end amen the memorare remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence i fly to thee o virgin of virgins my mother to thee i come before thee i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me amen blessing of the sick our help is in the name of the lord who, who made, made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth lord hear my prayer and, and let my, my cry, cry come, come unto, unto thee, thee. The Lord be with you and, and with, with you, you also. also. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of blessed Mary, ever virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you within you to preserve you before you to guide you after you to guard you above you to bless you who with the father 
and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Succor, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.